focus on me. There we go. Morning. Um, today is one of those days where I'm just in sweatpants and a, and a hoodie. I'm very interested. Nah. Guys being buffoons. Is it raining? It is indeed raining somewhat. It's currently 922. Heading to class. Gonna be there on time. Let's go. Matthew. Um, so yeah, today, uh, normal day, meetings, homework. I don't have homework due tonight, but I'm gonna need to get ahead because again, I'm going to uh, Greenville this week. So, and Friday we're gonna be in a van all day, a, bu a bus all day. So, you know, I gotta make sure I get all that done. So, that's the plan. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing of significance that I can film, so. You guys might see me doing some of my work, but other than that, that's about it. So, I will talk to you guys whenever. I think I'm recording right now. David, say hi. David, say hi. Hey, don't touch the lens. I didn't. David did. Just kidding, he didn't. He hovered. What do you guys have to say? No, oh, what's our Tater Co. slogan? Bringing joy one tater at a time. David's the CEO. No, I'm not. The D Dante. Dom and James. Y'all haven't, haven't seen James yet. Huh? I played Fortnite with these two when OG happened. This man clutched. I vlog. Clutch man. Love the vlog. We love red vlogs. Me Go too. subscribe. <laughs> that was a plug that wasn't even intended, but I will thank him for that. <laughs> I need to get some work done, but I will talk to you guys in a bit. What's up, guys? So, uh, I can't remember the last time I talked to you, but. Meetings went well today. Um, I did get some homework done um, that I've been needing to catch up on. Um, but I went down for a nap at 6 ish. I think 6. I woke up at like 9. So that's the, that's the risk you play with taking naps later in the day. I will be able to go to sleep tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm very tired, but I'm, it's currently 9.30. So. I'm gonna work on editing the video, and then once that's done, I'll probably work on the homework that I was working on today. Cause um, in my economics class, I had homework that was due, but I haven't like done it because it's not due, but it's not it doesn't have a due date assigned to it. But I still need to do it, so that's what I've currently kind of been working on has been that, and so that's I've bumped my grade up like two percent just by doing those things. So I'm just gonna keep, keep kind of uh, finish those homework so I can bump my grade up. Um, but also, if depending on what I finish, I'll we're also work on my accounting project because that's something I've been needing to like also get done. It's a comprehensive uh, accounting project, which has been quite the ordeal for some. So I'm gonna try to finish, get, get at least another part of that done, get my trial balance done. Um, Cause that I need to get done by Thursday. It, technically, it's not due till Saturday, but I would like to get it done before the bus ride because I do not want to have to work on homework on the bus. Will I probably end up having to work on homework on the bus? Yes, but do I want to? Absolutely not. So, um, and then tomorrow I have some other stuff to do. But yeah, I'm gonna edit the video first, first and foremost, and then work on that homework because that homework does isn't due anytime. It is no due date currently, so I can do it when when I when I have time or when I feel like it. So, so yeah. But we are now going to see the ramifications of my uh, questionable actions. So, uh, yeah. So after after I edit the video um, and kind of work on some stuff, I will do my Bible reading and then I'll break it down. But other than that, I think that'll be it for the night. So I'll talk to y'all. Primary. I'll, I'll, next next time I'll talk to you, it'll be breaking down the Bible, uh, the biblical, the, the Bible reading. There you go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm currently running late to class. Um, kind of got released a little bit later than normal. But once again, got out late. I did my best to get fat, be efficient, but this is breakfast. Three um breakfast corn dogs best breakfast um today we have first day of intramural basketball i'm not playing because the season's not done yet so but my team 
I believe is. So that's kind of currently the plan tentatively. Um, I have weights today. I also have my pizza planning party, which is just me signing up for classes, even though I'm already done and ready and understand what I'm doing. So, but that's the plan. I'm heading to economics, got accounting and got, what else do I have? Business comp. So those are the three things I have. So I will talk to you guys in some point in between then and until the end of the day and now. So don't forget to. Okay. So, um, I haven't talked to you guys in a bit. I haven't talked to you guys since this morning. Um, classes were good. Weights was good. Um, my my basketball team's game. We didn't we didn't end up having a game today because our team couldn't play. So we we our first game will be on Sunday. Um, but now I have to work on homework. So I have discussion questions I got to get done, and then I have a quiz I got to take. Once all that's done, I'll edit the video. And do Bible reading breakdown. So I, it's currently nine o'clock. So goal is to get done with the homework in about thirty-ish minutes, and then from there, edit the video in thirty minutes. Be done at ten. Read. Go to bed by ten thirty. That's the goal. Will I probably pull it off? Probably not. But we shall see. Talk to you guys once I get all that done. So I grossly overestimated my abilities. So with that being said, I'm basically just going to finish my discussion questions because I finished my quiz, but I'm going to finish my discussion questions. And then from there, I'm going to, um, okay, this is a terrible spot. Uh, from there, I'm going to go to bed. Um, I, I'm, I'm mad I'm not going to be able to edit my video, but I think it'll be easier to edit my video tomorrow than, um, it'll be easier to edit my video tomorrow and just get it done tomorrow and edit the video from today. Tomorrow, I... I also don't have my bubble reading, which is gonna suck, but... I really need to go to bed. That's why I'm saying all this. I can stay up later technically tomorrow because I'm... I wanna be tired for the bus ride, so I sleep on the bus. Yeah, just my priority is to finish this discussion questions, grab my laundry, and go to bed. Um, I will probably do my Bible reading tomorrow morning for this video. I'll do my Bible reading for this video tomorrow morning. And then... Why are you not focusing on me? It's like not wanting to focus on me. There we go. So, I'm going to end up doing my Bible reading tomorrow morning before practice with you guys I will break it down in the morning and then I will do the other reading stuff but I'm gonna edit the video from tomorrow I'm gonna edit the video tomorrow I just I can't pull that off today so I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning I didn't technically lie but I also I didn't I didn't tell the truth so it's currently 11 15 p.m. on Wednesday I Got my stuff done and realized that it's more, God's more important than 15 minutes of sleep. So I read uh, Psalms 9 through 11. And a lot about righteousness and the wicked, and that was a lot of the language that was used. But the thing that stuck out to me most was the first verse I read, which was Psalms 9 verse 1. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. And then it says in two, I will be glad and exalt in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Now, I, one second, let me, let me look at the, okay, so, I think that sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> the ironic of the season, we're in a gratitude season. A lot of times during Thanksgiving, this kind of time, thanks November, a lot of gratitude is what is discussed and talked about. Gratitude's a big deal, like being grateful for things and, and being thankful. And I think sometimes we as Christians fail to truly... Thank God for all that he has given us. 
sometimes we just request and we fail to give thanks and be grateful. I just, yeah, I think that's a big deal is that being thankful, being grateful for God and presenting gratitude to him. Also, then in verse 2, it's the praise. Gratitude and praise and worship. And I think that worship is one of, is just something that is where I find myself closest to God, especially. And I've had some of my closest moments with God by myself. It's not been in the church setting or the, or the camp setting, as most people have. Like, some of my closest moments with God that I have felt the most, like, felt the Lord's presence the closest have been individual moments of worship. Whether it be I'm by myself in my room and I'm listening to worship music in my ear, my, my earbuds as loud as I physically can and dancing to it. That is just some of the, the, the that's the closest I've felt to God. And I think that Sometimes we lose track in the spectacle of the worship and sometimes don't focus on what we're, who we're truly worshiping. I know that I have before where I get, ooh, fun lights, ooh, that was a good drum, drum fill or things like that, but in the truest form we're worshiping God. In the purest form we're worshiping God. And we need to recognize why we're there and what we're doing there. We're, we're there to worship God. We're not there to... That was a cool drum so Like, sure, yes. We can do those things, but remember at the center of that is God. Remember at the center of that we are worshiping God. And we are glorifying God through that. And I think... Verse 2 puts it very, very, uh, very well in the first part. I will be glad and exalt in you. I will be glad. I, I need to look up exalt. Sorry. This is this is me going into my normal, uh, my usual, I need to know what a word means because I don't like knowing what a word means. Compare. NLT. I'll be filled with joy because of you. NKJV, I will be glad and rejoice in you. Why is... Why does the ESV the only one that uses exalt? NKJV uses, uses, uses rejoice. NIV uses rejoice. King James Version uses rejoice. So does this Christian Serum. All the other ones use rejoice and this one uses exalt. Very interesting. But... I love that they say rejoice in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in the Lord. Or I... I will... What was it? It was... I will be filled with joy because of you. That's what... I will be glad and rejoice in you. That... that I will be glad and rejoice in you. And I think... Just being glad. I read about... Um, for my Christian doctrine class, we were reading about the uh, study of the Holy Spirit. And it talks about working in you to fill you... Uh, oh, what was it? There was a line, but it was discussing the spirit growing spiritual, uh, growing fruits in you. The, the fruit of the spirit. And also, President Denton... Uh, our, for football, we do something called Wisdom Wednesdays, which is where a coach or a man of God will come in and speak about... The theme kind of has been, what does it look like to be a Christian man? And today was President Denton. We finished off on President Denton, which was sick. He did a fantastic job. When he's breaking it down, he's like, what makes a Christian man different? I know this is very all over the place. I apologize, but I'm... It's good to get this out. And this is so... It's just so good. But he talked about the ten tens of being a Christian man. And he said, what makes a Christian man different than a secular man? What makes a Christian man different? And we all answered, and we have that kind of back and forth. And... I think one of the biggest things is the fruits of the spirit. Because you look at it, gr granted, humility. Big, there's there's a lot of things that the world tells us not to, tells that that says 
a man should be when he shouldn't. Wait, did I just fl Let's wait. I didn't just flip that. I thought I flipped. I thought I flipped perfectly. It's in Galatians, right? Yes. Right? No, fruits of the Spirit are in Ephesians. In the Ephes Ephesians. Right? Ephesians 5? No, that's walk in love. Wait. It's Galatians, I thought. Hey, Siri, where are the fruits of the Spirit located in the Scriptures? It is in Galatians. I'm just blind. Ah, oh, there it is. Found it. <clears throat> the fruits of the Spirit are... But... But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Those are the fruit of the Spirit. Now going back, wrapping this all in a nice little bow before I pray. The Christian Doctrine thing talked about the Spirit. But, not but, and. It's not a but, it's an and. Um, in Psalms, go Psalms 9 one, one second. I will be glad and rejoice in you. Or I will find joy in you. One of the fruits of the Spirit is joy. Joy from the Lord is something that... like you, you, joy, joy from the Lord is something that is unfailing and unwavering. And is something that isn't affected. It's not like happiness. It's not an emotion. It's something that is more than that. And I think that when you have joy from the Lord, it's... How can you not be grateful, have that joy, rejoice in him? People sometimes ask me, why am I so optimistic? It's because God. <laughs> I just talked for nine minutes. I'm looking at my time right now. I'm at nine minutes. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this down. I know I'm going to have to edit this down, but... Just, man, God is so good. God is so good. And I'm, I'm growing so much, just so much from reading scripture led to being at a Christian college to doing all these things. And I'm so grateful. Like, I'm beyond grateful for the position God has put me in, in the sense of that I'm a crown, in the sense that I am doing this framework... I know that sounds dumb, but this framework has helped me get into my word like I haven't before. I, this is what, episode 25 or something? Like, I, I, I don't know if I've ever done that where I've read my Bible 25 days in a row. I've had a little off and on, but like, continually been reading my Bible. I don't know if I've done that before. I'm just so grateful for what God is doing in my life, and... And I'm just glad that there are people behind me to support me. And I'm just... <sighs> and I'm just... I'm so grateful. <laughs> I'm so thankful and grateful that I was put in a family that loves the Lord. And I'm just glad that I was able to know him from such a young age but I'm I may have known of him from a young age but I'm finally knowing him and it's I'm so grateful for what I'm seeing happen in my life the changes that are happening in my life and I'm just <sighs> what more can I say other than God is good. Um, let's pray. Dear Holy Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you just for continuing to... Lord, just thank you for continuing to pour into us, Lord. Lord, thank you for just... 
being by our sides, Lord. Lord, thank you for instilling us with the joy, Lord. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit to be able to grow these fruits, Lord. Lord, I thank you for the position you've put me in, Lord. I thank you for the fact that you've put me at crown, Lord. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be, and I'm grateful for that. Lord, I pray for anyone that may be watching, Lord, that they would be able to feel that joy that you have instilled in me, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would just be able to just truly change others' lives like you've changed mine. Lord, I pray again, once again, that you would give us discernment and the eyes to be able to see your steps and be able to follow the steps of your will, Lord. In your heavenly, holy, and mighty name. Amen. Blessings. What's up? So, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I haven't talked to you guys. It's currently 11.39. Um, 11.39? Yeah, it's 11.39. I'm currently working on homework. I'm trying to get as much homework done as I possibly can that's due online for the weekend uh, because I'm on the bus. I have a, a assignment that I will work on throughout the bus trip, but it's going to be an accounting assignment that shouldn't take me too long. Um, but plan is, should be doing that most for most of the bus ride, but I'm trying to get everything else done tonight. Thank you for giving my phone back. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, today's plan is just getting work done. I'm going to edit the video probably after Christian Doctrine if I, I'm, if I get these homework assignments done. I'm trying to get these homework assignments done that are due Friday, today. I do have an assignment due tonight, but that's a writing one that I shouldn't take too long. So that's the goal. But after meetings, I don't have anything. I, I do need to pack, though. Packing is a big, big pertinent issue tonight. So all those things need to get done. So packing will need to get done. What is your homework needs to get done uh, and those are those those are the and editing those are the three things so I will knock those out and let you know when I do knock them out hey guys hey guys so currently in the library <laughs> Sasha what are you doing I gotta work on homework but I'm working on homework currently I'm gonna finish my business comp and then work on my Christian doctrine and then after that I'm going to go pack for the bus, the bus ride. Um, I'm going to do the accounting on the bus. I'm also going to actually do the accounting homework that's due on Sunday today as well. But then the accounting project that I will work on during the bus ride. Because um, I need something to do. I'm probably going to also download some movies on my laptop, but we'll see. Otherwise, um, that's kind of the plan. But I'm working in the library. So I will talk to you guys once I get my stuff done. So It's also currently... 6.51 for those who wanted to know what time it is. Okay, so it's currently 9.41. I got all my homework done. And now I'm going to go pack my football stuff in the locker room. And then I'm going to have to go to my room and pack for the actual, like, living stuff, like my sweats and all that crap. So that's the current plan of action. Of course, that's the current course of action. Current course of action is that, so I'm heading down to the locker room. Um, editing the video will happen after I've packed up. I'll be, I'm fine going to bed late tonight because I want to be tired for the bus trip because I want to go to sleep. Like, I want to sleep on the bus for the first day. I do have to work on a project on the bus, but I it's a 13-hour bus ride, and that project's due on Saturday. I don't really think I'm going to be lacking in time for that project, so... I will uh, probably time lapse me packing and I'll see you in the room. All right, so it's currently it's currently eleven fifty two, and y'all are gonna get what is called a mega episode tomorrow. So Friday I'm posting the combined videos from past days. I don't know what that's going to look like lengthwise. It's probably going to get cut down a bit more than normal. But regardless, it's going to be like a two or three day video, I think. I think it might actually be a three day video, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But it's going to be a combined episode or mega episode because it just makes my life easier. And then we're editing three different videos. So... I travel day tomorrow, 13-hour car ride, currently downloading some 
uh, movies slash uh, shows to watch. But uh, that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is the uh, Job, was it Job 7 through 8? So Job 7 through 8, which is what I read today, is... So Job 7 through 8, the uh, verse, verses that stuck out to me was Job 8, 13 through 15, which is... Um, such are the paths of all who fall for, for, for forget God, the hope of the God that shall perish. His confidence is severed, and his trust is a spider's web. He leans against his house, but it does not stand. He lays, he lays hold of it, but it does not endure. So, one second. Other translations, it's very similar. And it's like, like NLT says, the hope of the godless evaporates. And I think that, I kind of talked about this yesterday, but a big thing is that hope in Christ, hope in God, is a eternal hope. It is a hope with confidence. Um, when you think of someone who's a non-believer, who doesn't have God, their hope can wither away. Their hope can... fairy dust. doesn't exist. Like, it can just be gone. Like that. It takes... It, it doesn't take much to knock it down. Whereas us, we have a firm foundation in Christ, and we have a hope that's rooted in Christ and rooted in God. And when you have that, it means that you, it's, 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 it's unfailing, it's, it's never-ending hope. And I think that that is part of the reason why we as Christians and believers can withstand so much. And why Christians in the past have been able to withstand so much is because they have a hope in God, in something that is, that is eternal. When you hope in whatever, it non-believers will hope in things that will perish, that will one day go away. We have a hope in what is eternal. We have a hope in what will never go away. We have a hope in eternity with Christ. That is, I think, the, the, the thing that I took away the most was the, the, that idea that we have a hope in God. And it just means that we're gonna, it's going to be longer lasting, it's going to be stronger, and it's not going to bend or break to the winds of the world, and it's not going to perish. So, I know I was very repetitive there, but yeah, I just, I think it's very cool that we're, we have such a, we have a hope for the everlasting, we have a hope for eternity with God. So, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Lord, thank you for this day, Lord, thank you for just continuing to be our source of hope, Lord, as believers, as we live out this life, Lord, as we continue to follow the steps you have for our life, Lord, as we continue to live out your will, Lord, you have given us an eternal hope in, that's rooted in you, Lord. Lord, I pray for anyone who may be watching, Lord, that they would receive healing, Lord, they would receive discernment, Lord, and they would just continue to be able to lean on you and understand that your hope is eternal, Lord. Lord, I pray that, once again, you just, just bless me with discernment, bless me with eyes to see, Lord, and bless me with wisdom, Lord, in your heavenly, holy, and mighty name, amen. Blessings.